Day 29, the Black Hills of South Dakota. So that was another completely jam-packed day. And that whole area is just a treasure trove of things to do and places to see. And why is it called Black Hills? Because the hills are covered with pretty thick pine forests. And when you look at them from a distance, coming up on them from the prairie, they really look black. So I wild camped in the forest with just deer for company and waking up to this beautiful view was absolutely amazing. So my next stop <clears throat> was the town of Deadwood because I really wanted to see more of those antique cars. And I love cars. I have nothing against modern vehicles, but essentially they're just computers on wheels. And when you peek under the hood of an old car, there's no electronics and it's just pure and simple, beautiful mechanics. And so there were tons of these old, pristinely preserved beauties zipping up and down the roads and the hills and overtaking modern cars. And um, a lot of them looked exactly like the characters from the beautiful Pixar cartoon cars. And they are just beautiful and shiny and so loud and spewing clouds of black smoke, but still it was completely worth it. My next stop is in the little town of Leed at Sanford Labs Visitor Center. So Leed had the second deepest gold mine in the world, owned by the Homestack Mining Company, which was founded by William Hurst, the father of William Randall Hurst of the New York Times. And the mine goes down almost two and a half miles underground. When the gold prices tanked in the 90s, it was sold with the condition that it will never be used for mining again and they will only do scientific experiments there. And because the mine is so deep underground, it is pretty much isolated from solar radiation and there is a lot of labs there hunting for all kinds of exotic particles like neutrinos. In fact, the Nobel Prize winning physics experiment that proved the existence of neutrinos was done in the Sanford Mine Labs. And this ring is the one that held together a special liquid tank through which the neutrinos went and that's how they were proven to exist. Leed itself has a population of about 3,000, but there are hundreds of scientists from all over the world who come there for months or years at a time to work on their experiments. So in fact, it probably has the higher educated population in the whole world. So this is the open pit that was used in the old days for gold mining. And then you take this little trolley through the town, unfortunately not into the mine itself because um, in order to get there, there are security procedures and it has clean rooms, but it takes you to the pulley house that houses this elaborate system that brings the elevators down and up the mine shaft. And that building alone is huge and it has these enormous spools of thick, steel cable and it was just amazing i wish i could have gotten into the mine i guess next time i'm gonna have to spend a little more time there and make friends with one of the scientists and maybe that would be my way in and this little thing is called a honey bucket and back uh, when the mine was in operation that was the portable toilet that was rolled through the mine twice a day Driving from Leed to my next destination, I passed by this beautiful spot. It is called Pactola Lake and it's actually a reservoir, the biggest one in the Black Hills. And now to my next destination, well, you guessed it, Mount Rushmore. I mean, you cannot be in the Black Hills of South Dakota and not drop by there. So yeah, I checked off one of the most well-known and iconic American landmarks from my list but I really can't say that I was terribly impressed. And the most interesting part of that experience was 
the park ranger that was giving a talk walking down the alley of the flags which is this beautiful alley with the flags of all the states leading up to the viewing platform of mount rushmore and he was basically walking from flag to flag and telling the story of how each state joined the union and also just like with everything on this trip you hear a name once and then it just starts following you all around so the Homestack Mining Company, that very same company that owned the Sanford Mine, um, contributed money to build the viewing platform in front of Mount Rushmore. So yes, this is Mount Rushmore.